Now for part B, okay, what we'll do is we'll just move this up a bit. We'll leave the graph on display for the moment. So for part B, we've got to show that the tangents to the curve C at P and Q are parallel. So we've got this graph. I don't know what it looks like, but if we can just imagine that we've got a curve going through P and Q, and we've got tangents to this curve, which supposedly uh, at P and Q, those tangents are parallel. We've got to show that. In other words, if two tangents are parallel, they're going to share the same gradient. And to find the gradient at any point on the curve, we need to differentiate that curve with respect to x. Now, if you remember then, the curve had equation y equals x squared bracket x minus 6 plus 4 over x. And so we're going to need to differentiate this. But before we can differentiate it, we need to get it in the form ready for differentiation and this bracket is causing a problem. So we need to expand this and also 4 over x I'm going to change to another format. Hopefully you remember that if you have got 4 over x that's the same as 4 times 1 over x and 1 over x is the same as x to the power minus 1. So this becomes 4 times x to the power minus 1. Okay, so let's just get this ready for differentiation by expanding the bracket and that gives x squared times x which is x cubed. x squared times minus 6 is minus 6x squared. And then, as I said over here, 4 over x I'm going to write as 4 x to the power minus 1. Okay, so now we've got this in the form ready for differentiating. I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll put the y in the front there as well. I could leave it blank, but I just decided I want to put the y in. So therefore, what I now have is dy dx is equal to differentiating x cubed in the usual way becomes 3x to the power 2. Differentiate minus 6x squared with respect to x, we get minus 12x. And then finally here, don't rush in and write a plus, you'll only find yourself crossing it out in a minute. In fact, never write a sign until you've really worked the thing out. Plus 4 times minus 1 is negative 4, and then you have x, take 1 away from the power, minus 2. I always prefer, in questions like this, never to leave negative powers, by the way, okay? I find it much harder to work with, so let's just put this back to a much more sensible form. 4 times x to the minus 2, let's just go over here, just to remind you, 4 times x to the minus 2 is the same as 4 times 1 over x squared. In other words, 4 over x squared. So when I come to tidy this up, this is going to be 3x squared minus 12x minus 4 over x squared. It's much easier in the next stage to handle what we're going to do from this style rather than the negative power style. Okay, so we've now got then the gradient at any point x on the curve C. And the gradient at any point x on the curve will be the same as the gradient of the tangent at that point x. So if we're to show that the gradient of the tangents at p and q are parallel, I need to put the x-coordinate of p, which is 1, into dy dx to establish the gradient of the tangent, and do the same with x equals 2, the x-coordinate of the point q. And what I should see is that I get the same answer. Well, that's what I'm hoping for anyway. So let's just try and see if we get that. So we'll say when x is equal to 1, that's the, the x-coordinate at p, we find that dy dx okay, is going to equal 3 times 1 squared, 3 times 1 squared, minus 12 times 1 minus 4 over 1 squared. 
Okay. So, what does this equal? Well, we get 3 minus 12 minus 4. So, 3 minus 12, negative 9, minus another 4, negative 13. Okay. Now, if I do exactly the same for Q, so we'll just move that up. Okay. So, at Q, we know that the X coordinate is 2. So, when X is 2, I find that dy dx is going to be 3 times 2 squared minus 12 times 2 minus 4 over 2 squared. Working this out, 2 squared is 4, 4 threes are 12, minus 12 twos are 24, and then 2 squared is 4, 4 divided by 4 is 1. 12 minus 24 then is negative 12, minus another 1 is minus 13. So therefore I can see that because the gradients are the same, I know that the tangents are parallel at P and Q. So therefore, tangents okay, are parallel at P and Q. Okay, because they both essentially have the same gradient, negative 13. All right.